Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Yet another unboxing video for you guys. Today is the Blue Sound Note wireless music streamer. So I wanted to buy this for quite a while. Um, reason being is there are many of our customer use this streamer with the Dina Frips, Aries 2, Pontus 2, or the Venus 2 DAC. So I thought we should have one with us so that we can better support the customer as to what are the settings that is um, on the note that is uh, optimized to use it with the Dynafrips DAC and which connection, whether the coaxial is better, whether the optical is better or the new notes comes with a USB output, whether the USB to the DAC connection is better compared to the rest of the interface. I thought we should buy it and here we have it. So let me unbox this guy and yeah. I think I can start it from here. So I got this from a distributor in Singapore. Oh no, I think it's a dealer. A dealer in Singapore. And for some reason, uh, I wanted to I wanted to buy this last year, but uh, that, that time was not too high. And I was lucky that I didn't buy because uh, shortly after Blue Sound released the Note. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's a blessing or not, but uh, there are still many customers use the Older model Note 2. Maybe it's a good idea to buy the Note 2i as well. At some point in time, I had the Note 2i, but I thought I didn't want to keep it and I, I, I sold it away actually. That was many years ago. I'm not sure why it's the model, but I think it's a Note 2i. But now we have the new Note and the new USB output is kind of attractive, so I bought it. We have a simple quick start guide. I'm not sure what is that. I think it's a power cord. A carton cover. And the unit that we waited for a couple of days, or rather a couple of weeks, is the black one. Apparently they have more um, they have more white color, but uh, I thought for testing purpose, I thought the black color will be more long lasting here we go a pretty nice unit i think it weighs about 1.5 kilogram this is the front part and there's this sticker here to protect the the, the prospect i don't think it's glass but i think it's prospect and at the back here we have the 100 volt to 200 volt ac inlet the analog output coaxial output optical output oh well, nice Sub output as well. So there are some input as well. Infrared input, trigger out, optical in and out, and of course the Ethernet connection and the USB port. So the latest firmware, as I understand from Blue Sound, the USB port can be connected to the external DAC. Pretty nice unit. And let me put it back. And there's this small little compartment here. Um, comes with this power cord, different plug, this is for the UK or, or Singapore, this is for the US, and we have some basic cable for the Ethernet cable, and the famous blue and white RCA cable. I won't be using them, so just keep it back. Ah, nice! It comes with a very nice um, optical adapter that allows you to connect the post link to this 3.5mm optical input here. I won't, I won't be using that as well. And a small little box that... Uh, I don't know. Oh no, it's, it's, just a, it's, just a, it's just a blocker to, to make this box smaller, I think. Okay, so, so how do we connect this guy to the uh, external DSC? We can choose to connect the coaxial out, the optical out, or the USB out. So most of the customer use this with the Aries 2 DAC. Let me put it aside and bring out this Aries 2 right beside me. So Aries 2 comes with USB input, coaxial input, and optical input. We can use optical cable to connect this blue sound to the DAC, or we can use the coaxial cable to connect the blue sound to the DAC. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'll be testing this uh, along with my colleague Winston. 
and we'll see how. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.